The impeachment trial of suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton begins next week, and there will be a lot of moving parts and people to watch. Political reporter Jack Fink gives us all a quick look at some of the key players that you'll need to know. There are two parties to the impeachment trial. The first, the Attorney General, Ken Paxton, who's facing 20 articles of impeachment. And let's discuss the other party, the House Board of Managers. This is a group of seven Republicans and five Democrats who will act as the prosecution. Republican Andrew Murr of Junction will serve as the chair of the board. Ann Johnson, a Houston Democrat, will serve as the vice chair. The House Board of Managers will also be represented by three heavyweight prosecutors. Dick DeGaron's list of former clients includes some big names, such as former U.S. Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison and Branch Davidian leader David Koresh. Rusty Harden has also represented high-profile clients, including NFL quarterback Deshaun Watson. The third attorney on the team, Harriet O'Neill, served as a justice on the Texas Supreme Court for more than a decade. On the other side, two prominent lawyers from Houston have been hired to defend Paxton. Tony Busby notably represented former Governor Rick Perry in a 2015 case over abuse of office charges. And Dan Cogdell, the other attorney on the defense team, represents Paxton in the state securities fraud case against him. Also on Paxton's defense team, six lawyers from the attorney general's office. Senators will act as the jury in the impeachment trial. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, as president of the Senate, will act as the court's presiding officer. Texas has 31 state senators, and the threshold to remove Paxton from office is 21 votes. It's also worth mentioning there are 12 Democrats and 18 Republicans seated in the Senate. The 19th senator is Angela Paxton, Ken Paxton's wife from McKinney. She is not allowed to be an active member of the jury, 